today on Horseland. <laughs> it's a comedy of errors when a princess visits Horseland. Yes! yes! Will said the princess didn't want to be bothered here. And Chloe and Zoe become royal pains as they try to impress their royal uh -huh. guest. Did someone bring us food? No, but it's, um, interesting all the same. There you go. Good girl. That's quite a horse. Looks like a first-class snob to me. I think she looks kind of big. And scary. You can't judge somebody by how they look. You have to get to know them. You know. Walk a mile in their shoes. Fortunately, I don't wear shoes. What a beautiful horse. Name's Wendy. What kind of name is that? Wendy comes from a cold place. She belongs to the Princess of Svalsbergen. And I just found out that the princess herself is coming to Horseland for riding lessons. Yay! A real princess. We are so going to give her the five-star treatment. As only we know how, sister. Yes! yes! <laughs> the princess is coming here to get a break from all the attention she usually gets. So the last thing she needs is anybody acting up. The princess and her assistant are the only ones coming. They are keeping the whole thing real quiet. No newspapers? No magazines? No gossip shows? No. And it's up to us to keep it that way. Treat them like you would any other students. Hey, we can keep a secret. Right, Chloe? Right, Zoe? Well, duh. Double duh. <laughs> I can't wait to tell the other girls at school. They're gonna be so jealous. Welcome to Horseland. I'm Scarlet. That horse is snootier than a peacock on parade. I never thought I would say this, Angora, but you might be right. Now, now, give the new horse a chance. What's all this? What are you two doing? As you know, Zoe and I have impeccable manners. So we thought we'd teach all of you how to behave around royalty. Will told us not to make a fuss. Get real, Sarah. You expect me to listen to a guy who wears plaid? Now let's begin with a lesson in fine dining. Aren't you jumping the gun a little here? We don't know anything about this princess. That's right. We should wait. Get to know the princess first and find out what she likes. Girls, girls, girls. Once you know a person's background, her breeding, her social standing, that's all that matters. Now, who wants to show us which fork to use first? Should we make a break for it? No, they'd catch us. They can run fast. Hello. Let's pay attention, hmm? Now, this is a service plate. It's never actually eaten on. It will be removed when the first course is brought. And this is an appetizer fork. It's the only fork placed on the right side of the plate. And this is the dessert fork. Notice it's placed horizontally above the plate. <sighs> Hello, my name is Alexia. Howdy. My name's Will, and these are... Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Zoe. And we are so totally thrilled to meet you. Thank you. Uh, but the suitcases... We'll let the help get that. You must be the princess's assistant. Well, I, um... I'm Sarah. This is Alma. Heya. My name is Linnea. Can we help you unload the car? Yes, thank you. What's it like being a princess? I mean, a real one. Daddy calls us princesses, but it's not like we're actually official, you know? Ah! 
Are you okay? Uh, yes, but those horses are so big. I, I mean, nice. Big and nice horses. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful home you have. Oh, I don't live here. This is where I board my horse, so I come by pretty much every day. Uh, would you excuse us, please? Thanks. They think I'm you and you're me. We have to tell them. Yes, yes, of course. As soon as... No, we have to tell them now. But... Uh, now, now, your highness. You can't run away from us. We're your new best friends. Someone will show you where to put the bags, okay? Don't worry. We'll take good care of the princess. I'm sure you will. Sorry about the way they're acting. That must drive the princess crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine. This is a beautiful horse. Yeah, she sure is. You like horses a lot, huh? Oh, yeah. When I get on a horse, I feel so free. It's wonderful. Well, maybe we could go riding sometime. Really? We can take the trail up to Charlton Ridge. You can see the whole valley from up there. Really? When can we go? Whenever you want. Excuse me, but your princess needs help getting dressed for her lesson. Well, uh, duty calls. Sure, I'll saddle up her horse. It's okay, girl. She's going to get the princess now. Why is the princess taking so long? It must be that awful assistant of hers. You know how hard it is to find good help. Here they come. Don't worry, Alexia. Windy is very gentle. Your Highness, you know I never learned how to ride. I can't get on a horse. I can barely get into these pants. You look fine, Alexia. How I look is not the point. Please, can't we just pretend a bit longer? At home, I have so little freedom. Here, no one even knows who I am. You're Princess Linnea of Svalsbergen, and I'm your assistant. And trading clothes won't change that. What will change is how people feel when they find out you tricked them. Oh, you're right, Alexia. We have to tell them the truth. And soon. All righty. Ready for your lesson? Uh, no, I'm not. Why is that? Because, uh, uh, you tell them. Princess! Yoo-hoo! Uh, I'm afraid Alexia won't be riding today because she's, uh... What's wrong, princess? Yes, what is it? The princess won't be riding today because, uh... Ah! Because her boots are dirty. <laughs> what? what? Hate to break it to you, miss, but when you ride horses, that kind of comes with the territory. Uh, nevertheless, the princess will not be riding today. I'm going back in the house now. I'll clean them for you, princess. No, let me. You've never cleaned a boot in your life. Yeah, but I watched someone do it once. I guess we have time for that trail ride now. I don't think Alexia will like it. <laughs> but let's do it. Are you sure it's okay for you to ride the princess's horse? Oh, yeah, I know she won't mind. Have fun, you two! Look, Linnea. Race you to the top! I have to tell her the truth. But what if she gets upset or starts treating me like... like a princess? Oh, it's beautiful here. Thought you'd like it. See that lake out there? In summer, we go swimming there. Whenever you wish. Sure, we're safe. 
As long as we go as a group. It must be nice to have good friends like that. It's what friends do, right? They take care of each other. They're always there for each other, right? Right. Lydia is gone. I know. You know? Saw her and Sarah right off about an hour ago. They'll be fine. No, no. Uh, you don't understand. She can't leave my sight. You must take me to her at once. We'll do it. Don't worry, Princess. You can ride with me. No, with me. Heads or tails? Tails. Fine. Give me your hand. <laughs> Don't worry, Princess. We're the fastest riders in the county. Fastest? Yeah! <laughs> what a great ride. For sure. But it's getting late. Oh, I suppose we should get back now. Well, it's a little late for that. How dare you run away? I didn't run away. We just went for a ride. And I guess you're behind all this? Well, yeah, but I didn't mean to cause any trouble. You have no idea how much trouble you could have caused. Come on, let's go home. Now look, I do know one thing. You may be a princess, princess, but you are being incredibly mean to Linnea. Sarah! Alexia can treat her help any way she wants. She's royalty. Alexia was only worried about me, Sarah. She and I may be different, but we're like... friends. Well, a friend shouldn't treat a friend like that. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Friends aren't supposed to boss each other around. Could I have a word with you? Now? Excuse me. I can't believe they're still arguing. You sure messed that one up, Sarah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the princess fired Linnea. <laughs> <laughs> Linnea has something to tell you. Well, go on. Sarah, I've been thinking about what you said, about how friends should treat friends. And, well, though we just met, I consider you a friend. So I'd never do anything to hurt you or make you think less of me. Of course, you have every right to be mad, but I hope you won't be. I have no idea what you're saying. Sarah, Alexia is not the princess of Svalsbergen. But if she's not the princess, then who... You mean, you? Me. Sorry, Agora. I can't get it. You're stuck in there. Ah! She never says anything to us. I know. What a snob. So, let me get this straight. Alexia isn't a princess. Right. But Linnea is. Also right. Are you sure it's okay for me to know this? Linnea said I could tell you, but she wants to tell Chloe and Zoe herself. That I have to see. Girls, we have a big announcement. What's that? At 5 o'clock tonight, we are going to hold a gigantic party for Princess Alexia. For Princess... Alexia. Yeah, that will be a surprise. We've invited all of our friends from the country club and the yacht club and the tennis club and... Will said the princess didn't want to be bothered here. You, you have to cancel this. Sorry, can't. Already charged the caterer on our credit card. So don't be late or you won't rate. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better find Linnea. Linnea, Alexia! 
Chloe and Zoe are inviting friends over and they're going to throw a party. For who? For the princess. Only they think that's you. Aww. What should we do, princess? Well, first you should go back to calling me Linia, like before. Okay, Linia. And second, there's nothing to do. Maybe it'll be fun to meet these friends. Yoo-hoo! Guess what? We're throwing a party tonight in honor of you, princess. How kind of you. We'll be very pleased to attend. Um, one problem. You aren't invited. What? Come on, Sarah. You know we never invite the hired help. Unless you want to serve food or wash dishes or something. You're making a big mistake. See, Linnea completely understands. Good. But tell you what, you can stick around and watch if you want. From a distance, you might learn something. Yeah, because we know how to treat a princess like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe and Zoe's dad is not going to be happy when he sees this bill. Food's good, though. <gasps> Where is she? Girl's waving! It must be awful putting up with this craziness all the time. Some people don't seem to mind. Hi, my name is Chloe, and this is my sister Zoe. Hi. And we'd like to welcome all of you to Horseland. Where is she? Anyway, we have a special treat tonight. A chance to meet the incredibly reclusive, rich, and royal Princess of Spalsbergen. I said, presenting the Princess of Spalsbergen. Princess? <laughs> er, princess? Over here? No, over here. <gasps> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Good evening, everyone. First, I'd like to thank my new friends at Horseland, particularly Sarah. This is a special place, and I'm grateful for the days I've spent here. Who do you think you are? Yeah, who? The Princess of Spalsbergen. She is? You are? Yes, I am. And I'm grateful to these young ladies, Chloe and Zoe. They helped me see what a fine and faithful friend I have in my assistant, Alexia. <sighs> oh, no. No. <laughs> I can't believe Linnea has to leave already. And I can't believe we wasted the whole time hanging around with the wrong princess. <sighs> We'd better go say goodbye. I had a wonderful stay, Sarah. Please thank everyone for me. I had fun too. You really know how to treat a guest like royalty, even when they're not. We know there's no excuse for not telling the truth. And we're sorry. Well, um... We're sorry, too. Even if Alexia is just, you know, the hired help? Well, yeah, that. The thing is, we found out that you are actually nice, and we're lucky we got to know you, sorta. Here, this is something for Horseland. Oh, how pretty! It's called a Dala horse, a traditional gift where I come from. Thank you, Linnea. And thank you for everything. Well, we'd better go, Alexia. There's a plane waiting for us at the airport. Yes, good luck, Herr Hain. What did you just say to her? I told her, I will take you home now. Windy only understands Icelandic. What do you know? She wasn't a snob. She just didn't understand what we were saying. That's why she didn't talk to us. Hmm, I knew that. Bless, bless. That means goodbye. Bless, bless. bless. I'm glad we met that horse. Me too. She turned out to be pretty nice after all. Right, Angora? I suppose some of us may have jumped to conclusions about her. Yep. The world's full of fine folks. 
if you just take the time to get to know them. Today on Horseland, a legendary racehorse named River comes to Horseland, but Chili is so disappointed by the old horse's looks that he almost misses the important wisdom River has to offer. You don't know everything! going on around here, Shep? They're getting the place ready. Got a famous visitor coming by today. Famous, you say? This I've got to see. And I'm sure our famous visitor would like to see me, too. I wouldn't go out there. It's sort of dangerous. Please, I'm a cat. I laugh at danger. <laughs> Been Kitty Pizza! Told you so. Tina tried to warn you. When somebody has good advice to share, you ought to listen. Soon as we get the back stall next to Calypso cleaned up, we'll be ready for our guest. We'll want it to be nice and comfy so River can get better after his operation. Did she say River? The River? That River? River is coming here to Horseland? Who's River? Just about the most awesome horse that ever lived. Won the Longfellow Steeplechase four times. And the national and international show jumping championships. That's pretty good. Pretty good? River's a living legend. He could run all day without getting tired. And when he jumped a fence, it was like an eagle soaring in the sky. And in the show jumping ring, there was no horse more graceful. River never knocked down a rail, not one in his whole career. He won every competition he ever entered. There was never a horse that could compare with River. It'll be an honor to have a horse like River spend a few days in our stable. I'm sure we can learn a lot from him. Oh, just look at this place. We have to look our best to greet a champion. <laughs> <sighs> Finally finished. Chili! We just finished cleaning and you're already messing the place up. I think he's trying to tell us something. I think they want to look their best for River, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you can read their minds. Maybe Sarah's right. Wouldn't hurt to spruce them up a bit. wasn't easy, but it sure was worth it. I don't think the horses or the stable ever looked better. Oh, Chili, what is it now? <laughs> I think he's trying to tell us that we need to clean up too. A little welcome speech all worked out, so don't say anything and let me do the talking. <sighs> huh? What? Oh dear, my goodness. Poor old fella. I hope he'll like it here. 
He'll need a lot of rest to get his strength back. Once my grandmother had an operation and it took months for her to get back to normal. We'll take good care of you, River. We'll be right back, River. Wow. Those races must have been a long time ago. But that can't be River. The champion River? River? Yep, that's me. Hello, River. My name's Scarlet. Nice to meet you, dear. Hi, I'm Chili, and on behalf of the horses of Horseland, <coughs> I want to say it's a great honor Mighty to- Mighty nice of you, but if you don't mind, I've had a long trip, and I could use a rest. Plenty of time to talk later. Um, right, later. Here you go, boy. Come on, River. Let's get you some water now. I guess he's changed from when he was young. Like Pepper said, it was a long time ago that River won those races. Yep, long time. Haven't competed in over 15 years. Retired, you know. Turned out to pasture. But I remember those days like yesterday. Tell us about the first time you won the Longfellow steeplechase. <laughs> you had to be the fastest horse ever. I was fast, but racing. Especially a steeplechase isn't all about fast. Pacing's just as important as speed. Start off too fast and you don't have anything left for the finish. That's a hard lesson to learn when you're young and feeling your oats. But it's important. Mmm. There's that sorghum mixed in. Tasty. Best sorghum I ever had was in Kentucky. I was training for a race there. Tell us about the race. They call it Kentucky Bluegrass Country, but I don't know why it isn't blue. <laughs> it's green, like any other grass. Good, though. Some of the best I ever grazed. Florida's got good grass, too, but it's sandy. The ground, I mean, not the grass. Some big hero. All he cares about is grass. California's good, but you gotta water the grass a lot. <laughs> Say, did I tell you about the time? Reminds me of a stable where the oats were so good. <laughs> Guess I told you that one. Come on, Zoe! Pepper! You can do it! Bad, Pepper. You'll do better next time. Hmm. I barely brushed the rail. Must have been a breeze. Must have blown the rail off. I think you need to settle yourself down and shorten your stride coming up to the fence. It's not so much the speed you carry into a jump that matters. It's hitting the mark for your takeoff. You youngsters are too impatient sometimes. It was only a practice. <sighs> Get used to knocking down rails in practice, and you'll knock them down when you compete. All I'm saying is, the fastest ride is a clean ride. Come on, Chili. Let's show them how it's done. Okay, watch my stride and hit my takeoff points. Let's go, Chili. Going, Chloe. Great job, Chloe and Chili. Bravo! You did it. Great ride, Chili. I'm so proud of you, Chili. What'd you think of that? Not bad for a youngster. <laughs> River? Uh huh. Sorry. Must have dozed off. Horse nap, you know. How'd the ride go? Okay. Too bad you didn't see it. That horse is way too critical. 
I'll be glad when he leaves. Aw, uh, cut him some slack, Pepper. He just had an operation. And he tells those long, boring stories. But he's not boring. Don't tell me you like listening to that long-winded old know-it-all. Well, I... I mean, I... He thinks horses today can't do anything. Not like the horses when he was young. Shh. He's coming. Mm. Well, I'm not going to stand around and listen to that boring blowhard. Mm. Well, sure is good. Not as good as Kentucky bluegrass. Which isn't really blue. <laughs> Guess I told you that one. Yeah, you did. Come on, let's graze by the fence. You coming, Chili? Suit yourself. Where are they off to? I don't know. You better tell them not to go too far. There's a storm coming. A storm? But there's not a cloud anywhere. When you get my age, you feel a storm in your bones. Especially if it's going to be a big one. Say, did I tell you about the time? No, but that's okay. I have to go. Chili? Hold on, boy. Where are you going? Sometimes I don't know what gets into these young'uns. Guess Chili ran off on account of me. Can't leave him out there alone. Not with this storm coming. Still got my touch. Don't want anybody else getting out. Now to find that young'un. All my life I've heard about River. Wanted to be like him. But he's nothing like I thought he'd be. Pepper's right. He's boring. Chili, where are you, young'un? Box Canyon. Ought to be a good place to hide. River will never find me here. Why'd you go and run away? Told you there was a storm coming. There's no storm! You don't know everything! Never said I knew everything. I'm sorry if it seemed that way. Guess I need to work on understanding young horses. You're just so... Different from what I expected. A champion, you mean? Something like that. That was a long time ago, Chili. Horses change. Sounds like you young'uns could work on understanding old horses, too. Come on, let's get back before that storm hits. What storm? That storm. Oh, yeah, that storm. Follow me. It's blocked! We're trapped! We'll have to jump if we can. On this leg, I'd never make it. But you might. I never jumped anything that big. You have to. Only way to bring help. Just remember... I know. Shorten my stride. Pick my takeoff point. I guess you young'uns were listening. I can do it. Short strides, hit my takeoff point. Here goes! I'll be back with help! Reminds me of me when I was his age. The rain. I've got to hurry. Pacing's just as important as speed. Start off too fast, you don't have anything left for the finish. 
River's right. I gotta have strength to lead them back. Let's get the horses in the stable. Wait, where's Chili? He's not here. still out in the storm. And River, too. But where? They're not in the pasture. We have to find them. It's chilly! But where's River? Maybe he's trying to tell us where he is. Let's get the horses saddled and find him. <clears throat> Not as dry as the stable, but it'll do. Just hope Chili remembers what I told him. Come on, we better hurry. Not too fast, Pepper. River says you have to pace yourself. If we don't, we'll be too tired to do anything when we get there. Yeah, I guess he's right. <clears throat> Those youngins get here soon, before I catch pneumonia. It's River, behind that tree! We'll have to drag it out of the way. I hope the horses aren't too tired to move it. Tie the other end to your saddles. Now let's all pull together. <laughs> okay, pull! There Come you on, go. you can oh, do my... it! stuck like that. You wouldn't have gotten stuck if I hadn't run off. I was acting like a spoiled colt. I guess I gotta remember. My stories aren't so interesting to a herd of young horses. They're interesting if we take the time to listen. Chili's right. There's a lot we can learn from. Nothing like a nice, warm stable and a good bag of oats. Reminds me of a stable where the oats were so good. But you youngins don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the time you won the Longfellow steeplechase. You don't want to hear about that, do you? Yeah, we do. If you don't mind telling us. Well... There we were, lined up at the start, with me next to Fleetmaster, big chestnut stallion. He was the favorite he'd won the year before. This was my first big test. Don't mind telling you I was nervous, but that went away as soon as the flag dropped and the race started. You never heard such a thunder of hooves. It was like we struck lightning from our horseshoes. Fleetmaster and I went down the street, I was young and strong, but I knew that wasn't enough to win. I had to race smart, had to pace myself. So I dropped back to save my strength, waited for the chance to make my move. At the last fence, I saw Fleetmaster was tired, and I gave it everything I had. Closed the distance, and we were side by side, neck and neck, and then... I passed him. I crossed the finish line, and I'd done it. Won my first big race. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. There's a lot we can learn from each other. 
if we care enough to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Horseland, they're here! Twin bulls come to visit Horseland. But the older horses are so jealous, show the big horses how it's done, that they behave badly and cause cute little cream and sugar to run away. I miss mommy. <laughs> come on, don't have much time! They'll be here soon. Oh, I wonder what that's all about. I've got the blanket. Here's some hay. My, my, my. They certainly are busy. Shep, Angora, do you know what's going on? They're getting ready for a couple of visitors. Visitors? I can't wait to meet them. I can. Ugh. We don't need more horses clapping around here. It's not always easy having somebody new around, but I hope we'll all make them feel at home. Yeah, whatever. Company! Oh, company! Ooh. <sighs> I can't believe we're going to have twin foals here. Too bad their mom's sick, but it'll be fun having them for a few days till she gets better. I've never taken care of a foal before, much less two. I've helped take care of my little sister, Lissa, but my parents always did most of the work. Taking care of a foal is a lot of work. And with twins, it'll be twice the work. Can't wait. Sounds like fun. I hope they don't get homesick. It's a big change coming to a strange stable and leaving their mom, even for a few days. Well, I hope they don't get in the way. They're just foals, Aztec. I don't need a couple of foals under hoof. They're here! Come on, Scarlet. Let's show them a real Horseland welcome. Come on, Cream. Come on, Sugar. This is your new home for a few days. Oh! Oh! Aren't they just the sweetest things you ever saw? Let's get these two into the stable. Let me do it, Bailey. Oh, I want to. I don't mind. Neither do I. I can handle it. No, I'd better do it. Don't worry about them. They're just excited you're here with us. We'll show you where you'll be staying. I said I would. No, let me. Hold on a sec. This place is kind of nice, isn't it, Sugar? <laughs> I think they like it. These blankets will keep them nice and warm tonight. Hey, those are my blankets. Won't hurt to share them one night, Aztec. Maybe, just one night. Night, sweeties. Tomorrow we'll show you all around Horseland. Good night. Sleep well. Good night, Cream. Night, Sugar. He always rubs my nose good night. He just forgot in all the excitement. Everything will be back to normal tomorrow. It's still out there, Sugar. And it's looking at us. I, I'm scared, Cream. I want Mommy. Can you keep it down in there? Sorry. They're just foals, Aztec. They're not used to sleeping in a stall without their mother. No reason to keep everybody else awake. Is everything all right? We're sort of scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Something's watching us. Where? Out there. That's only the moon. My mother used to tell me there's a great horse living in the moon. Can you see his face? I see it. Me too. Mama told me he's always up there, watching over little ones, keeping them safe while they sleep. Wow. 
Wow! Look at them! That's what I want to do when I grow up! Cream, you look just like the big horses! Come on! It's fun! Molly, come see! Come see the little horses! Whoa! Hey, everybody, look at this! Aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen? They look so proud of themselves. <laughs> That's it. Show the big horses how it's done. I think I'm gonna be sick. Cream and sugar are just trying to do what we're doing. It's sweet. <laughs> Hi, big horses. Oh, Lissa! Pretty horses. Lissa! Mm. I know the horses wouldn't hurt you on purpose, but there could be an accident. They're so much bigger than you are. What? We'd never hurt anybody. Let's look at some horses more your own size. <gasps> See the baby horses? <laughs> I guess we're not their favorites anymore. Oh, Calypso, that's not it. Babies always get more attention. Babies need more attention. I don't know, Scarlet. I think Aztec's right. Things have changed around here. Time for your morning ride. Morning, babies. I hope you slept all right. <laughs> oh, you think you found something. You like carrots? You two behave yourselves while we're out for our ride. I'll see you when we get back. There's a good baby. Morning, Calypso. Let's get you ready, girl. Oh, sorry, Calypso. Guess I fed your treat to cream and sugar. I'll bring more tomorrow. Promise. What's wrong with you? Hurry up, Molly. We're all saddled up. I'm trying, but Calypso's not cooperating. Honestly, you're more trouble than Lissa. There she is, finally. Sorry, Calypso just doesn't seem to be herself today. Oh, come on, Calypso. Yeah! Honestly, what's eating you, girl? Just look at those two! Ha! That is so cute! No, Calypso, not now! I said stop it, Calypso! Huh. cute too, Calypso. No, she's just being silly. Don't encourage her. What's got into you? You're acting like a big baby. I thought that was what you liked.
Here you go! <laughs> no shopping now! There's plenty for everybody! <laughs> you two have noses for trouble! But there's no use crying over a little spilled water! Those little cults are real cut-ups! <laughs> Ah, oh, Aztec! Watch what you're doing! Now I gotta replace this straw. I don't know what's wrong with you. He thought it was funny when those two did it. Aztec, you don't have to be jealous of the little ones. Ha! <laughs> I'm not jealous of them! Bailey still cares about you. You'll always be special to him. I know that. But those two foals are taking up all of Bailey's time. I want to go home, Cream. Those horses don't want us here. Yeah, when I first saw the big horses, I wanted to be just like them. You're not going to keep us awake all night again, are you? Sorry. We won't do it again. Good. I miss Mommy. I do too. Maybe we should go home. Can we? Don't see why not. Follow me. How'd you do that? I watched Scarlet open her stall the first night we were here. Now, let's go, but be quiet. Which way is home? That way, I think, on the other side of the hills. aren't acting as strange as they were yesterday. They were like a bunch of big babies. Oh, look! Cream and Sugar's stall is open. The foals are gone! Let's go find Bailey. Good riddance, says I. Now maybe we'll get some attention. That's no way to talk, Aztec. Cream and Sugar are just babies. Who knows what trouble they could get into? We have to find them. What's wrong, Champ? What's happened? The foals are missing. Check the paddock and the arena. I'll look in the meadow. They aren't in the meadow, arena, or the paddock. Oh! Cream saw me open my stall on their first night here. Hmm. Who'd have thought the little foal was so smart? Young foals are always eager to learn. Remember how we were at that age? They sure picked up our gates fast enough when we were practicing dressage. I know how we can find cream and sugar. I put these on the foals the first night they were here. Their scent should be all over them. Here, Shep, can you get a scent? Go find them, boy. I think we're lost, Cream. I wish we'd never left Horseland. Well, I'm not going back. Those big horses don't like us. We need to get back to Mom. But which way do we go? There! I think we should go that way. He's walking in circles now. Hope he picks up their trail again. Don't worry, I will. I hope we find them before night. 
I don't want to think about cream and sugar, cold and alone. We should have made them feel more welcome at Horseland. I don't like this trail. We gotta keep going, Sugar. But where are we going? I'm not sure. You think they went in there? They are in there! What do we do now? Remember what Scarlet said? There's a great horse up there in the moon, watching over us. I'm sure he can help us! I'm tired, Cream. We can stop here for a while. We can't go any farther. We'll have to turn back. But we can't leave without cream and sugar. They're not here. We have to double back and start looking again. I think I know where they went. Where's Scarlet? They went looking for the moon. Looking for the what? What are you talking about, Scarlet? They're looking for a place they'll feel safe. What? They were safe at Horseland. I think they knew you and Aztec were upset, even if they didn't know why. So they decided to leave. I never wanted that. I just didn't want them hogging all the attention. They never meant to, Aztec. They didn't want to make you feel jealous. It just happened that way. I hope we find them. I think they're up there, somewhere. <gasps> I see them! Look! There they are! There's another trail on top of the canyon. We can get them up there. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. You had us scared for a while. We'll rest the horses a while, then start back. Where were you two headed? We were trying to get home. We thought you didn't want us at Horseland. Sure we wanted you there, at least at first. When my owner started paying so much attention to you, I got a little jealous. I never had to share his attention before, and I blamed you. But it wasn't your fault. I know Molly was a little jealous when her sister first came along. But Molly is really close with Lissa now. I should have remembered that things sometimes change when there's a new addition to a family. We're all family at Horseland. And you're our newest members. Will you come back with us? Oh, sure. All right. Is that cute or what? <laughs> <laughs> Should we start back? I think we're ready. Goodbye, Cream. Goodbye, Sugar. Say hello to your mom for us. Goodbye. See you again soon. We'll remember everything you taught us. See you around. Take care. Don't go getting yourselves into trouble. Our horses sure are noisy today. I think they'll miss the little guys as much as we will. It'll be good to have the stable back to normal. But I'm gonna miss those foals. I guess we sorta love those kids, huh? <laughs> sorta. How'd you like a good, long grooming, Calypso? And you too, Aztec? Come on, let's get going. I've got extra carrots in the stable. Oh, 
I'm so glad they changed their minds about cream and sugar. It isn't always easy when somebody new joins the family. Oh, but it worked out, didn't it? Yeah. Love is a kind of spreading thing, and there's always plenty to go around. Today on Horseland, the failure to tame a dangerous horse causes Sarah to lose faith in herself. Here's a horse that really needs me, and I can't seem to help him. The horse may be lost forever. If I can't show results by tomorrow, he's out of here. Hey, what's this? I believe it's called a video camera, Angora. Humans use it, too. I know what it is, Shep. The question is, why is it here? I've got it! They're going to make a movie about me! A movie about you, Angora? How do you know? Well, who else would they make a movie of? Certainly not you. You are a pig. <gasps> Whereas I, my dear, am a cat! <sighs> and your point is... Cats are intrinsically interesting. No matter what they do, they do it with the utmost feline grace and... Yeah! Oh. Sometimes there's such a thing as having too much self-confidence. But that's not the case with Sarah. Hey, Alma. What you doing? Grooming. I've heard of air guitar, and I've heard of hair grooming, but air grooming? Sorry, Button. <laughs> Hi, guys. Well, look what the horse dragged in. Que pasa, Molly? What's this new passion for fashion? Tell all. Alma, are you trying to tell me I don't look this nice every day? Just kidding. You're right. Today is special. I'm making a demo tape for the Horse Life Channel Junior Reporter Audition. Oh, that's right. Meet Molly Washington, roving reporter-to-be. Live from Horseland. That's gonna be our gig. Your gig? We're gonna try out for it, too. Yeah, we just haven't gotten around to it yet. Come on, Molly, let's roll tape. This is exciting. What are you going to talk about? Sarah, of course. Not every stable has its very own horse whisperer. What's so special about Sarah? Anybody could do what she does. You think anyone could do what Sarah does? You wish. Yeah, Zoe. What about the time Sarah helped Pepper when she hurt herself on that jump, huh? See, si. and Chloe, what about the... Yeah! So, Sarah has a talent, does she? Can she understand Angora? Is she a cat whisperer, too? Yeah, and how about that mouse? Can she mouse whisper, too? Squeak, 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 Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Sarah, how nice to see you. We were just talking about you. Yeah, I heard every word. Squeak, squeak, Zoe. Oops. Oh. So you heard who your true friends are. Amigas para siempre. Yep. Friends forever. Darn right. Roll it, Bailey. Rolling and action. This is roving reporter Molly Washington. There are a lot of people in equitation that call themselves horse whisperers. And a lot of them are, well, phonies. I'm here today with Sarah Whitney, who's the real thing. Come on over here, Sarah. Wait, Sarah. Sarah, tell us what it's like to communicate with horses. Er, uh, well, that's not what I do. I mean, I don't talk to them in their language. I can't understand what they're saying, and I haven't a clue what they're thinking. But Sarah, I've seen you work miracles. I know you can do it. Uh, do what? Whisper to horses. I don't know what that means, Molly. I'm good with horses, but I don't have any mysterious talents, really. Cut! What's all the commotion out there? Ah! Hey, Sarah, give me a hand. Madison, what are you doing here? It's a long story. Calm down, Diablo. Here, let me help. I've worked with a lot of difficult horses before. Ah! Come on, boy. This will be good footage. Get the camera, Bailey. 
Right. Oh, Diablo! Look, Sarah, he won't even let me touch him. Record everything, okay? Got it. Come on, Diablo! Look at me. That's better. Okay, Madison, let's get him into a stall. Sarah is now demonstrating how to deal with an upset horse by making eye contact and persuading him to yield to her control. That's good, boy. That's good. Almost there. What's going on? I don't know, but I think we're about to have a visitor. Yeah, an unwelcome one. There you go, boy. Don't worry. I'm going to give you time to settle down now. <laughs> Bailey! Get that thing out of here! You've seen it with your own eyes. A vicious, savage, out-of-control beast. Calmed and pacified by our very own Horseland Horse Whisperer, Sarah Whitney. She says she doesn't have any special talents. But as for me, I'm a believer. This is Molly Washington for the Horse Life Channel, live from Horseland. That's a wrap. Wow, you sound just like one of those Horse Life Channel reporters. Madison, why are you limping? It was all my fault. I tried a jump that was way too high. My folks agreed to board Diablo here for a few days. Will you work with him, Sarah? Please? Well, sure, but what exactly do you want me to do? Everyone knows you're a horse whisperer. Tell Diablo how much I love him. Make him like me again. Diablo was my very first horse ever. But if he won't let me ride him again, my folks are going to sell him. They're giving him a little time at Horseland, and that's it. You're his last chance. <laughs> I'll try, but no promises, Madison. No guarantees. Thanks, Sarah. I know you'll try. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Madison. So... What's your name, stranger? They call me Diablo. What's with you and my Sarah, Diablo? My owner knows her, that's all. But why are you here? None of your business. Hey, who do you think you are? Like I said, none of your business. Look, Madison is my neighbor. She rides at Stanhope Stables. I'm just trying to help her out, okay? Come on, Sarah. That horse is trouble. Yeah, snorting and nipping and kicking like that? He's mean. Do you know what the word Diablo means in English? Devil. Just what are you getting yourself into here, Sarah? All I know is I should help my friend. Hello, boy. I'm not going to hurt you. No one's going to hurt you. It's so interesting to watch Sarah at work. This horse Diablo is angry, mean, and smart. A real triple threat. To show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to join Sarah in the arena. I'll come with you. I'll be joined by Horseland's finest rider and top equestrian researcher, Alma Rodriguez. Come on, Alma. Let's go meet Diablo. <laughs> That's good. Just look at me. You can trust me. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Mind if we join you? Molly! I was on the verge of a breakthrough and you broke the spell. Oh, sorry. You said spell! I broke the spell? I knew there was something mystical about this. Tell us, Sarah, what's your secret? No, no, it was just a figure of speech. I'm here in the arena with Sarah Whitney. We're discussing the element of magic and the ancient art of horse whispering. It's not magic! Why are those two arguing, champ? Huh? Well, Tina, Sarah wants to do it her way, and Alma thinks she knows what that way is, and Molly wants to make a video about it. Hmm. Molly's missing a golden opportunity. She could be making a video about me. Chloe, there's no chance Molly could get that junior reporter job with the Horse Life channel, is there? I don't think so. She doesn't take anything very seriously, and she has no sense of style whatsoever. 
But what if by some freak of nature she wins and we don't? I would just die of embarrassment. She'd be a celebrity and no one would pay any attention to us. Ugh, too horrible to think about. We've, We've got, got to, to do, do something. something. Morning, Diablo. Today, we're going to try something new. Those carrots look mighty good. And you'll look mighty bad if you eat one. They're not for you. Right. And you don't want to make Diablo mad at you, do you? Oh, no, 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 I don't. Why is he so mean, champ? Well, he acts mean for sure. But I have a feeling that's just what it is, an act. Don't like the looks of that bridle, do you, boy? That accident you had must have really upset you. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Mmm, it is delicious. Want one? It's yours, but only if you take it out of my hand. Aw, that wasn't so bad, was it? Okay, okay. We'll get to that later. I'm not going to give up on you so easily, you know. Once again, Sarah's demonstrating the four main ingredients of horse whispering. Patience, perseverance, kindness, and a real affection for horses. You have to stop filming us for a while. It's really making Diablo nervous. Me too, for that matter. Okay, sure. No problem. Sure, Molly's good, but when they see us on her tape, they'll know who the real superstars are. Right, okay, here we go. So, tell us, Zoe, what's it like to own one of the most beautiful horses in the world? You mean, the most beautiful horse in the world? No, I mean one of the most beautiful horses in the world. But enough about you. <gasps> My turn. Are we gonna let them get away with this? No way. I've got an idea, but I'll need your help, both of you. Count me out. I never bite the hands that feed me. If Chloe and Zoe get away with this, they'll be way too busy being roving reporters to spend any quality time with you, Angora. Which means you could kiss your kitty treats goodbye. So what's the plan? Easy, Diablo, easy. You've had a bridle on before. That's it. No big thing. Just you and me, Diablo. Wow, she's doing it. I wish I were filming this. Me too, but a promise is a promise. No cameras until Sarah says so. Chloe Stilton reporting from Horseland Stables, where you're about to see the most beaut... <gasps> Uh, achoo! Achoo! Uh, achoo! Zoe Stilton reporting from Horse. Er, uh, We're back at the. Hey! Ah! <gasps> Thanks a lot, Zoe. Watch where you're going. Uh, excuse me, but has either of you seen my... Uh, video camera? Give it up. Chloe made me do it. Easy, boy. Hmm. <laughs> Be still, Diablo. You let me get the bridle on you, but I need to go further. How can I help you if you won't let me? I'm just about ready to give up. Oh, no. I forgot to turn off my cell phone. Hello? Oh, Madison, I'm so sorry. What, Sarah? What happened? They found a buyer for Diablo. 
That's terrible! Why would they sell Diablo before you're done working with him? Well, they haven't made the deal yet. But Madison's parents have given up on Diablo and they're anxious to move on. They said if I can't show results by tomorrow, he's out of here. You have to do something! I've tried, but maybe I've just been lucky so far. Here's a horse that really needs me and I can't seem to help him. Sarah, this is one of the toughest challenges you've ever faced. I think you need to take a break. Why don't you go for a trail ride? Maybe I'll take Scarlet out, just for a break. Wake up and smell the hayseeds, Diablo. Your days are numbered. If Sarah can't turn you around, you're going to lose Madison, the best owner you ever had. The only owner I ever had. And look what I did to her. She's hurt because of me. You mean all this is because of your jumping accident? Whoa, Dare. I've made mistakes too, and Molly's fallen a few times. Molly's not limping. Madison is. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Stop it, Diablo. Running away isn't the answer. Find someone else to lecture, dog. I'm out of here. Oh, boy. I'm getting help. Diablo! Come back! We have to go after him! Bring your camera! Oh, Scarlet, I still don't know what I should do to help Diablo. <laughs> Diablo! He's running away! After him, Scarlet! He went through there, Scarlet! I'm going to climb out of here and get Bailey's folks to help us. Be good, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs> well, look who's here. I don't know what your problem is, Diablo, but I've been doing my best to try to help you, and now I need you to help me. I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to let me get on your back. Then we're going to ride out of here and get help. I'm not taking no for an answer. You have to do this, Diablo, for Scarlet and for me. Most of all, for you and Madison. <laughs> See, that's not so bad. Now I'm going to put my hands on your back and pull myself up. Okay, here goes. That's good, Diablo. That's good. Scarlet, I'll be back soon. Just stay there and, and don't, don't panic. panic. Help, Help is, is on, on the way. way. Ready? <laughs> good. Let's go. Camera! Sarah's riding Diablo! And so, because of her patience and perseverance, she and Diablo got help to free Scarlet. Sarah found her way with horses again, and Diablo went back to his owner, Madison, and they all rode happily ever after. Fast we did a good job, Molly! Thank you! Now I have some big news to tell you. The Horse Life Channel loved my piece! They want me to be their new junior reporter. Why, Molly, that's great. <gasps> you did it! When do you start? I don't. I turned them down. You, you what? what? The job wouldn't have left me any time for writing. And that's what's most important to me. 
Calypso. So are they going to show your piece? We worked so hard on that. Sorry, but I asked them not to, for Sarah's sake. Thank you. I don't want anyone out there thinking I'm some sort of horse whisperer. But thank goodness I still have a way with horses. Right, Scarlet? <laughs> you tell them, girl. <laughs> Good to see how a little patience and perseverance finally paid off and got Sarah believing in herself again. Right, Tinny? Right, Ship. I didn't want to show this in front of Chloe and Zoe. Check it out. Chloe Stilton reporting from Horseland Stables, where you're about to see the most beautiful. Ah, <gasps> uh, uh, Zoe Stilton reporting from Horse. Er, achoo. We're back at the. Hey. <laughs> well, some folks like Chloe and Zoe and Angora have no shortage of self-confidence, whether it's deserved or not. <laughs> Others, like Sarah, need their confidence restored once in a while. How about you? Today on Horseland, will the desire to win an important Western riding competition tear apart best friends? Victor at any price, cowboy. We are happening! You sound like you've already won the Junior National. I mean, really, it's not over yet. One, Tina. <coughs> hey there, a beast of the field. If you see me coming, better yield. If I say heal, get healed, because I'm the alpha dog, and you're just a cat and a hog. <coughs> Your voice, and I use that term loosely. It's time we heard from the winner to be of this little singing competition. Mwah. You know, Angora, when you compete, winning isn't necessarily the most important thing. Shep, I heard you howling. I was so worried. You sounded hurt. Anyway, I'm glad to see you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, only my pride, Sarah. Only my pride. Let's go to You guys, this book about famous horses of the past is incredible. Did you know that a Palomino stallion named Trigger was once the most famous horse in the entire country? He had a flowing white mane and a famous cowboy rode him. In fact, they even made movies together. I have an announcement, buckaroos. Buckaroos? I'm going to teach you cowpokes some new western riding techniques. All right. Will, western riding is your specialty, isn't it? Uh, I've done a bit. See, si, el amo western riding. Yeah, he loves western riding, western omelets, western barbecue. Listen up. We're having a competition to choose one rider from Horseland to represent us at the Junior Nationals. The Junior Nationals! Western riding's so easy. Western riding is country. I know. Is there anything worse than country? I mean, the music. The clothes. Hello, the hats. No. Say we don't have to wear a cowboy hat. And what's up with those Western saddles? The Western saddle is bigger and heavier than an English saddle. Duh. Tell us something we don't know. See how much smaller and lighter this English saddle is? Even I can lift it. You're right, Zoe. But the Western saddle is designed for comfort all day long for both horse and rider. The English saddle is designed to give the rider closer contact with the horse. Exactly. And when I ride, I need to be totally at one with my horse. Sure you do. Until it comes time to muck out his stall. <laughs> <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I'm going to pass on this bogus competition altogether. I'm sticking to English riding. 
Me too. You won't see me wearing a cowboy hat over my helmet. Well, I can't wait to get started. Me too. I'm so excited I hardly slept. I didn't sleep much either, but not because I'm excited. Something wrong, Sarah? Yeah, my parents wanted me to have a new quarter horse, the type of horse that's perfect for Western riding. I thought you said there was something wrong. I don't want to have an unfair advantage over you three. And I love Scarlett so much. I know it's odd to say so, but I feel like I'd be betraying her. You're right. Don't do it, Sarah. But Sarah, we want you to do your best. Honest, take the horse. Yeah, not that it'll make any difference with me and Aztec in the competition. You got that right, dude. It's only for this one competition. Yeah, Scarlet will always be your number one horse. Right, Scarlet? <laughs> Easy for her to say. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Are we going to talk or are we going to ride? Better give him a second to think about that. Now, in Western, horses go at a slower gait. Anyone know? I do. I read about that. It's called a jog. That's right. Watch Jimber. Remember, two key things about Western. You hold both reins in one hand, and you stay behind the horse. I don't mean that literally, of course. I know what you mean. You teach your horse to move away from pressure you apply. Yep. In Western riding, there's less rein and more body. You're kind of pushing the horse in the direction you want it to go. See? <laughs> OK, your turn, Alma. Molly, great job. Not bad for a city kid. Calypso's an Abaluza. She was bred for Western riding. Good girl, Calypso. That was amazing the way you did that. I told you I was meant for Western. Bring on the steers. I'm ready for some roping. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Aztec. Both hands on the reins. <laughs> Gotta get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I missed it. I'm gonna say it just one more time. It was Bailey's fault. It doesn't mean you failed. It just means you'll have to work harder at it. Yeah, Bailey, the way I see it, you're still the one to beat. Good work today, riders. See you tomorrow. Bye, Will. Thanks a lot. See you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I just heard Chris Alter's going to be a judge of the Nationals. Chris Alter? The rock star? The leader of Speedplay? The singer of my favorite group? The best guitar player ever? Yep, I hear he rides a little. See you tomorrow. Wait a second. If I go to the Nationals, will I get to, like, meet him? Yeah, guess so. We're, We're gonna, gonna meet Chris Alter! Uh, wait a minute. Think about it. Only one of us is going to meet Chris Alter. I'm going to meet Chris Alter! Sarah's never late. I hope she's okay. What's that? What's this? A new horse? My parents leased him for me on a trial basis. A real quarter horse, bred and trained for Western riding. Trained for it his entire life. Wow, Sarah, congratulations. I don't know, Sarah. Maybe it is unfair for you to have such a big advantage in the competition. Yeah, I agree. Come on, Bailey, be a good sport. Can't you be happy for your friends? Hey, we're talking about hanging out with Chris Alter. Hmm. Maybe I'm not as happy for Sarah as I thought I was. Control, Alma. Remember, scoring's based on smoothness, finesse, and attitude. Go ahead and use two hands. I don't need two hands. You do until you get better at this. <laughs> Time to take a break. 
might not meet Chris Alter, but at least you can get a job as a circus clown. I'll get this down, Molly, and you don't have to make fun of me. Hey, sorry. It was just a joke. Look who's here. Where's your new horse? I just couldn't ride any horse but Scarlet. Okay, Molly. Give her a try. Wish me luck. Good luck, Molly. <laughs> Good luck. You keep up that hard work, Molly, and someday you might be running rings around me and Jimber. Did you hear that, girl? We are happening. We are the best. Caramba, you sound like you've already won the Junior Nationals. I mean, really. It's not over yet. What's with you two anyway? Maybe our horses aren't bred to ride Western, but that doesn't mean we don't have a chance. Alma, Sarah, be good sports. Can't you be happy for your friend? Pass the salt, please. Pass the salt, please! Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. This feed is extra tasty today. Or could it be I'm just in a fantastic mood after dot ride? Flawless. <laughs> I'd probably enjoy eating rocks right now. I'd be happy to get you some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. You know, Alma, it's considered somewhat rude to read at the table. I'd tell you what I'm reading about, but you guys would just interrupt me, as per usual. I'm trying to eat, and you girls won't stop talking, as per usual. Won't stop talking? We just started talking. She's right, Bailey. And I'm getting a bit tired of you putting us girls down. And I'm getting a bit tired of you girls ganging up on me. We wouldn't have to gang up on you if you weren't so immature. Who said we gang up on him? I don't gang up on anyone. That's because you're not paying attention to anyone, because you have your nose in a book. I don't always have my nose in a book. When you're asleep, maybe. And if I do, maybe it's because I prefer the company of a book to some people I know. Maybe you'd rather read because it's easier than relating to people. I get along great with people I want to get along with. What do you know about relating to people? All you ever do is tell jokes. At least I'm having fun. You're so serious all the time. You're just not happening, any of you. You guys have all worked hard for the past few weeks, and now, may the best Western rider win. Or the best dressed Western rider. Grow up, Bailey. Grow up, Bailey. I'm glad you and I are doing the exact same routines, because I'm going to show you how it's done. <laughs> Quit arguing, you two. You're upsetting Calypso. You're upsetting my stomach. You think you feel sick now? Wait till you see me ride. Zoe, what are you doing here? Just looking for entertainment. Looks like I found it. In other words, she's hoping someone makes a mistake in the way they're arguing. You know someone will. Did I miss anything? Only about three weeks of practice. Oh, don't you worry. I've been practicing a bit on my own ever since I heard about Chris Alter. Mommy and Daddy leased this quarter horse for me, the same one that Sarah didn't want. Thanks, <gasps> Sarah. Ooh, this is getting good. You traitor. You've been working out every day? You told me you were at the library. I was so amazed you believed that. Well, if you think you're going to just waltz in here and win, you've got another thought coming. You know how awesome Pepper is. Chili, 
Chloe's entering the Western competition. Oh, yeah. We're going to put those losers to shame. Oh, and Chili, another thing. She's riding a new horse. What? Come on, Pepper. Let's go show them how it's done. <laughs> Okay then, first event, the trail class. You riders will guide your horses through the kind of obstacles you would find out on the trail. You'll be judged on the obedience of your horse and the accuracy of your form. First up on the Horseland Obstacle Course will be Sarah Whitney. Sarah has to open and close that gate and she has to demonstrate good form doing it. Almost there, girl. Alma's got to pick up that sack of cans. Sounds easy to be, Chef. Oh, yeah. Try it while you're riding a horse. What's Molly doing now, Chef? Going around those markers backwards. No rush, Calypso. Take your time. Good girl. Why is Bailey trying the same thing Sarah did? Each rider has to demonstrate his or her skill at each event. Whoa, dude, easy on the flank. <laughs> she's not going to try to put that on while she's riding, is she? It appears that's just what she's doing. Never thought I'd see you wearing a dirty rain slicker, Chloe. Victory at any price, cowboy. Wow, they were good. Sure, they were good. Now watch, great. Come on, Pepper, let's show them. <laughs> Turn, Pepper. Okay, now, walk backwards. Pepper, backwards. Huh? What does she mean, backwards? Come on, Pepper, you're embarrassing me. Zoe, you can't expect a horse to do something she's not trained to do, especially when you haven't practiced. It's okay, girl. Good job. This is all your fault. And now I have this, like, humongous blister on my hand, and it hurts so much, I can't even finish the competition. Oh, poor Zoe. Let me see your big, bad boo-boo that you don't even have. It's under the skin, and it hurts. You knew I'd beat you if I practiced, so you worked out behind my back. Get real, little sister. You couldn't beat me if you practiced for a year. Oh, yeah? Well, I want that Chris Alter CD back that I lent you. And They're you so horrible to each other. The second we get home. If you're gonna be there, I'm not going home. Next up, the reigning classes. Let's go, Aztec. Bailey, wait! What are you trying to do, distract me? No, Bailey. I want to wish you the best of luck and to remind you to keep your free hand down by your side. I noticed you've been lifting it in practice lately. What are you trying to pull, Sarah? I thought it was really awful watching Chloe and Zoe treat each other with such disrespect. Then I realized something. We've been behaving the same way. We've put winning above our friendship. And I, for one, am going to stop doing that right now. I love you like my own sisters and brother. And no writing competition or rock star is going to change that, ever. You're right, Sarah. I can't believe we let it get to this. Our friendship is way more important than winning. Even if meeting Chris Alter is the prize. I'm so sorry I said those things to you. It's okay. I was worse. So, are you kids giving up? You might as well, you know. No one's giving up. Yeah, Bailey! Go get him! Andale! Beautiful, Bailey! Where'd you go? Keep it up! Woohoo! You go, Alma! Do it, Alma! Those are called circles. Well, duh. And 
that's called a rollback. <laughs> okay, quiet down if you want to find out who's going to the Nationals. And the winner is, thanks to her impeccable and most unexpected performance, Chloe Stilton. Woohoo! Yes! Way to go, Chloe! Nice job! You were fantastic! Hey, where'd everybody go? What do you say we grab my new boombox and listen to some hot Chris Alter CDs? We may as well. That's the closest we're gonna be to him for probably ever. <laughs> How'd the Junior Nationals go? I lost. Oh, Chloe, I'm so sorry. But what we really want to know is... Did you get to meet Chris Alter? What was he like? Oh my gosh, what a huge letdown. First off, his girlfriend was there. And they were both old. He was at least 30. And then, in honor of the Western competition, he played a country song. It was hideous. What are you talking about? Dude, Ed, we love country now. Hey, let's break out the boombox. No. <laughs> I think Chloe likes country music about as much as you like hairballs, Angora. Well, I do hate hairballs, but I just love country music. Listen to this. I'm as lonely as a stallion without a You know, Shep, I love country music, but what Angora's doing isn't music! You're right. No! Not good! Hurts my ears! I just can't take it anymore! Neither can we! Somebody get that yeah. cot a vet! Today on Horseland, they're here! Twin bulls come to visit Horseland. But the older horses are so jealous, show the big horses how it's done, that they behave badly and cause cute little cream and sugar to run away. I miss mommy. Come on, don't have much time. They'll be here soon. Oh, I wonder what that's all about. I've got the blanket. Here's some hay. My, my, my. They certainly are busy. Shep, Angora, do you know what's going on? They're getting ready for a couple of visitors. Visitors? I can't wait to meet them. I can. Ugh. We don't need more horses clapping around here. It's not always easy having somebody new around, but I hope we'll all make them feel at home. Yeah, whatever. Company! Oh, company! Ooh. <sighs> I can't believe we're going to have twin foals here. Too bad their mom's sick, but it'll be fun having them for a few days till she gets better. I've never taken care of a foal before, much less two. I've helped take care of my little sister, Lissa, but my parents always did most of the work. Taking care of a foal is a lot of work. And with twins, it'll be twice the work. Can't wait! Sounds like fun! I hope they don't get homesick. It's a big change coming to a strange stable and leaving their mom, even for a few days. Well, I hope they don't get in the way. They're just foals, Aztec. I don't need a couple of foals under hoof. They're here! Come on, Scarlet. Let's show them a real Horseland welcome. Come on, Cream. Come on, Sugar. This is your new home for a few days. Oh! Oh! Aren't they just the sweetest things you ever saw? Let's get these two into the stable. Let me do it, Bailey. Oh, I want to. I don't mind. Neither do I. I can handle it. No, I'd better do it. Don't worry about them. They're just excited you're here with us. We'll show you where you'll be staying. I said I would. No, let me. Hold on a sec. 
This place is kind of nice, isn't it, Sugar? I think they like it. These blankets will keep them nice and warm tonight. Hey, those are my blankets. Won't hurt to share them one night, Aztec. Maybe just one night. Night, sweeties. Tomorrow we'll show you all around Horseland. Good night. Sleep well. Good night, Cream. Night, Sugar. He always rubs my nose good night. He just forgot in all the excitement. Everything will be back to normal tomorrow. It's still out there, Sugar, and it's looking at us. I, I'm scared, Cream. I want Mommy. Can you keep it down in there? S sorry. They're just foals, Aztec. They're not used to sleeping in a stall without their mother. No reason to keep everybody else awake. Is everything all right? We're sorta scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Something's watching us. Where? Out there. That's only the moon. My mother used to tell me there's a great horse living in the moon. Can you see his face? I see it. Me too. Mama told me he's always up there, watching over little ones, keeping them safe while they sleep. Wow, look at them. That's what I want to do when I grow up. Cream, you look just like the big horses. Come on, it's fun. Molly, come see. Come see the little horses. Whoa! Hey, everybody, look at this! Aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen? They look so proud of themselves. <laughs> That's it! Show the big horses how it's done. I think I'm gonna be sick. Cream and sugar are just trying to do what we're doing. It's sweet. <laughs> Hi, big horses. Oh, Lissa! Pretty horses! Lissa! Mm. I know the horses wouldn't hurt you on purpose, but there could be an accident. They're so much bigger than you are. What? We'd never hurt anybody. Let's look at some horses more your own size. <gasps> See the baby horses? <laughs> I guess we're not their favorites anymore. Oh, Calypso, that's not it. Babies always get more attention. Babies need more attention. I don't know, Scarlet. I think Aztec's right. Things have changed around here. Time for your morning ride. Morning, babies. I hope you slept all right. <laughs> oh, you think you found something. You like carrots? You two behave yourselves while we're out for our ride. I'll see you when we get back. There's a good baby. Morning, Calypso. Let's get you ready, girl. Oh, sorry, Calypso. Guess I fed your treat to cream and sugar. I'll bring more tomorrow. Promise. 
What's wrong with you? Hurry up, Molly. We're all saddled up. I'm trying, but Calypso's not cooperating. Honestly, you're more trouble than Lissa. There she is, finally. Sorry, Calypso just doesn't seem to be herself today. Oh, come on, Calypso. Yeah! Honestly, what's eating you, girl? Just look at those two! Ha! That is so cute! No, Calypso, not now! I said stop it, Calypso! Huh. cute too, Calypso. No, she's just being silly. Don't encourage her. What's got into you? You're acting like a big baby. I thought that was what you liked. Here you go! <laughs> no shopping now. There's plenty for everybody. <laughs> you two have noses for trouble. But there's no use crying over a little spilled water. Those little cults are real cut-ups. Ah, <laughs> oh, Aztec! Watch what you're doing. Now I gotta replace this straw. I don't know what's wrong with you. He thought it was funny when those two did it. Aztec, you don't have to be jealous of the little ones. Ha! <laughs> I'm not jealous of them. Bailey still cares about you. You'll always be special to him. I know that. But those two foals are taking up all of Bailey's time. I want to go home, Cream. Those horses don't want us here. Yeah, when I first saw the big horses, I wanted to be just like them. You're not going to keep us awake all night again, are you? Sorry. We won't do it again. Good. I miss Mommy. I do too. Maybe we should go home. Can we? Don't see why not. Follow me. How'd you do that? I watched Scarlet open her stall the first night we were here. Now, let's go, but be quiet. Which way is home? That way, I think, on the other side of the hills. I hope the horses aren't acting as strange as they were yesterday. They were like a bunch of big babies. Oh, look! Cream and Sugar's stall is open. The foals are gone! Let's go find Bailey! Good riddance, says I. 
Now maybe we'll get some attention. That's no way to talk, Aztec. Cream and Sugar are just babies. Who knows what trouble they could get into? We have to find them. What's wrong, Shep? What's happened? The foals are missing. Check the paddock and the arena. I'll look in the meadow. They aren't in the meadow, arena, or the paddock. Oh! Cream saw me open my stall on their first night here. Hmm. Who'd have thought the little foal was so smart? Young foals are always eager to learn. Remember how we were at that age? They sure picked up our gates fast enough when we were practicing dressage. I know how we can find cream and sugar. I put these on the foals the first night they were here. Their scent should be all over them. Here, Shep, can you get a scent? Go find them, boy. I think we're lost, Cream. I wish we'd never left Horseland. Well, I'm not going back. Those big horses don't like us. We need to get back to Mom. But which way do we go? There! I think we should go that way. I lost him. He's walking in circles now. Hope he picks up their trail again. Don't worry. I will. I hope we find them before night. I don't want to think about cream and sugar, cold and alone. We should have made them feel more welcome at Horseland. Well, I don't like this trail. We gotta keep going, sugar. But where are we going? I'm not sure. You think they went in there? They are in there! What do we do now? Remember what Scarlet said? There's a great horse up there in the moon, watching over us. I'm sure he can help us! I'm tired, Cream. We can stop here for a while. We can't go any farther. We'll have to turn back. But we can't leave without cream and sugar. They're not here. We have to double back and start looking again. I think I know where they went. Where, Scarlet? They went looking for the moon. Looking for the what? What are you talking about, Scarlet? They're looking for a place they'll feel safe. What? They were safe at Horseland. I think they knew you and Aztec were upset, even if they didn't know why. So they decided to leave. I never wanted that. I just didn't want them hogging all the attention. They never meant to, Aztec. They didn't want to make you feel jealous. It just happened that way. I hope we find them. I think they're up there, somewhere. <gasps> I see them! Look! There they are! There's another trail on top of the canyon. We can get them up there. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. 
You had us scared for a while. We'll rest the horses a while, then start back. Where were you two headed? We were trying to get home. We thought you didn't want us at Horseland. Sure we wanted you there, at least at first. When my owner started paying so much attention to you, I got a little jealous. I never had to share his attention before, and I blamed you. But it wasn't your fault. I know Molly was a little jealous when her sister first came along, but Molly is really close with Lissa now. I should have remembered that things sometimes change when there's a new addition to a family. We're all family at Horseland, and you're our newest members. Will you come back with us? Oh, sure. right! Is that cute or what? <laughs> <laughs> Should we start back? I think we're ready. Goodbye, cream. Goodbye, sugar. Say hello to your mom for us. Goodbye. See you again soon. We'll remember everything you taught us. See you around. Take care. Don't go getting yourselves into trouble. Our horses sure are noisy today. I think they'll miss the little guys as much as we will. It'll be good to have the stable back to normal. But I'm gonna miss those foals. I guess we sort of love those kids, huh? <laughs> sorta. How'd you like a good, long grooming, Calypso? And you too, Aztec? Come on, let's get going. I've got extra carrots in the stable. Oh, I'm so glad they changed their minds about cream and sugar. It isn't always easy when somebody new joins the family. Oh, but it worked out, didn't it? Yeah, love is a kind of spreading thing, and there's always...